Hey guys, so I wanted to comment on this very recent video from Michelle Carre, I believe is how you say her name, uh, where she tries a fruitarian raw vegan diet for one week. For those who don't know, that's how I used to eat for I'm not sure how long, a number of years, I guess. Gosh, that's very sad. So it's a, a fruit-based raw vegan diet, uh, usually low in fat, but it doesn't have to be. In this case, uh, it was at least the person she was consulting with, I guess, on the diet. Robbie uh, Barbaro, or Barbero, I forget how to pronounce his name, but um, he's been around in like the low-fat kind of uh, raw vegan world, 80-10-10 style world for a long time. When I was eating this way, I remember him. So yeah, he's kind of like helping her in this video eat this way. Yeah, it's, it's a problem because she's ultimately promoting a diet that is not healthy, as I've talked about numerous times on this channel. At the end of the video, she she basically says she has a, had a positive experience doing this for the week, but she would be uncomfortable continuing it because she would worry about like protein. There were times when I got minor like buzzing or headache sensations in my head from eating so much fruit and I guess a little bit of the sugar rush. I also am not sure about the longevity of the diet with my particular workout schedule. A lot of you guys know that I am very, very active and I'm not quite sure about the longevity of eating only fruit when I need so much protein in my diet. But then at the end she's like, so you know, if you're considering doing this, I would highly recommend it, like eating a fruitarian diet. If you want to try the fruitarian diet, I highly, highly recommend it. Ah, what? <laughs> like, what? No. <laughs> there is so much wrong with this diet, so beyond just protein. For one, you are removing really healthy foods from your diet, like legumes, whole grains. There's no reason to remove these foods from your diet. Uh, it also forces you to eat less sustainably than you would on like a normal vegan diet. Um, ideally, you want to really focus on staple foods like, again, whole grains and legumes, not produce that requires more water and is more expensive. That's something she didn't talk about. I was really surprised. I figured she would have brought up the cost of this, the cost of eating all of this fruit. Um, she did mention in the beginning, uh, she went to like a wholesale produce distributor at like five something in the morning because they close at like seven in the morning. <laughs> They're open from midnight to 7 a.m. I think she said. And so she got some deals there because you're buying directly and buying everything in bulk. But even still, like the diet is insanely expensive. Unless you're just eating bananas and dates. Don't do that. There's also the issue with deficiencies like calcium and zinc and iron. It is much harder to meet those needs on such a diet if you're not eating beans. <laughs> like for, for vegans, you know, good sources of iron and zinc and whatnot would be like beans and whole grains and nuts. But again, this is like, um, I don't know if how she did it was low fat. I didn't see her eat any nuts or anything. She didn't show everything she ate for the week, but Basically, all she showed was fruit. And again, she's like consulting with someone who absolutely promotes a low fat diet. So you're not going to be able to eat a lot of nuts to help you meet your zinc needs. And of course, it's just totally unnecessary to restrict your diet that much. There's no reason to do it from a health standpoint or any standpoint. <laughs> again, grains, whole grains and legumes are really, really healthy foods. And you definitely want to cook those. You can sprout beans, but I know like most of the low fat people are definitely against that. It's, it's like not natural because we can't eat it in its natural state. So we shouldn't eat it. You know, if we have to like sprout something and do all these different things, then we shouldn't eat it. Yeah. That whole thing. But you can do that. There are some raw foodists who do that. I did try that when I was raw sprouting beans, certain beans, you can't sprout like kidney beans you need to cook um, and, and certain other beans, but some you can, but man, it was really hard. It was really hard to digest. Yeah, cook your beans. Michelle does say to, if you do want to do this, to consult with a dietitian. That's that's really good. So if you decide to try out the fruitarian diet, I would definitely recommend talking to somebody who is a professional about it to make sure that the nutrients are getting match the activity of your lifestyle. But. I mean, do we really expect like someone sees her video? It's so like positive. Everyone's so happy. Being a fruitarian for a week was surprisingly a really positive and fun experience for me. I went into this challenge anticipating 
being hungry all the time, feeling frustrated with the lack of options that would exist in my diet. And instead, I felt the opposite. You know, she goes to dinner at Robbie's house, I guess. There's some other people there. And like the food looks so pretty. I mean, it's all fruits and vegetables and stuff. It looks really nice. And it's just a table full of food. And Michelle's talking about what a great time she had. And, you know, I can see some girl like, or, or guy, I don't know why I'm, I mean, let's face it, mostly girls are going to be attracted to this sort of thing, right? But, uh, and probably Michelle's target audience is going to be mostly girls, right? But watching that and going like, ooh, I want to do that. And like, do we really expect that they're going to go to a dietitian and make sure that this is healthy? Like how to do it correctly, which let's be real, any dietitian is going to be like, no, no, don't do this. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's a pretty high expectation to have. Again, like I appreciate Michelle saying that, but she still ends the video with like, I highly recommend it. Like why? You admit that there's potential problems with it. Why would you highly recommend someone doing this? It's kind of the nature of these, these videos, these like, what do you call them? Trying things video <laughs> or like challenge videos. You know, I did this or I tried the, the these period yoga pants, you know, stuff like that. that. That's actually a video I watched recently. It's pretty funny. Those videos are, are fine, but I think there is a line that maybe you don't cross. And I think something like this, that's potentially really harmful. And I know it's hard. She said that was the most common request for her next video was to do fruitarian uh, diet. So yeah, I mean, people want it, but sometimes you have to, I don't know, I think use your better judgment. And maybe that's not fair. Maybe she just doesn't know how bad it is and how potentially dangerous it is. I think she was influenced by the people she was around. Robbie is like, he just seems super nice um, and really charming and the other people as well. Like I, I think she really did have a good time um, with them. And you know, I don't care who you are, that's gonna influence it, influence you whether you know it or not. So that might have led her to be more positive at the end than she otherwise would be about fruitarianism because now it's associated with these really positive experiences that she had. And she does link to like Robbie's info in the description and some some other info, some like ebook or something, you know, low fat fruit based ebook. Robbie seems like a nice guy, but he's he's promoting some not great information. If you go to his Instagram and read some of his posts, uh yeah, it's it's not great. So I guess that's it. Hopefully, I mean, this video is probably going to get a lot of you, not my video, but Michelle's <laughs> video. Um, she has quite a few subscribers. It's probably going to get a fair number of views. Hopefully it won't inspire too many people <laughs> to try to go fruitarian. I feel like fruitarianism, low fat, raw, 80 10, 10, all that stuff I feel like is, is dying. Yeah, like I hope so. Um, so hopefully this doesn't give it new life. That would suck. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Comments, questions down below. If you want to subscribe, that's super cool. And I will have a new video very soon. Oh, I have a Patreon. I forgot. You can support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan.